Welcome to This Week on the Skins Market, brought to you by the worst stage tweet of 2023 so far. So this week, we've seen generally flat prices for liquid skins. This likely just represents mean reversion as opposed to anything more meaningful, particularly after several weeks of increasing prices. Cases have also had a relatively flat week, although certain cases continue to boom. Overall, the market for cases remains extremely strong. They can't just keep posting insane increases forever. But when it comes to insane increases though, we do have a lot to talk about this week, starting with Rio capsules. Despite being on sale for like 120 something days, they've immediately skyrocketed in price after their pre-announced removal from the in-game store. Nice job guys. Now, these stickers were widely viewed as crap investments and also heavily dissed as stickers by people like me and Anomaly. Uh, thank god I never specifically said they're a bad investment because that would be really awkward and it's also why you definitely don't make predictions without doing rigorous quantitative analysis. And while the initial spikes definitely have an element of FOMO to them, you can see how they've already fallen off, but People looking at the sales fees did conclude that a lot of the capsules sold were getting opened. Now, if you're wondering what people are doing with the stickers they're opening, I, I don't really know, the crafting rates on these are still terrible, but people appear to be opening them. So what do we make of this? Well, two bits of information. Every major sticker capsule ever aside from RMR has ultimately been a good investment. Secondly, the number of these capsules is overall pretty low relative to Antwerp, for example. Make of that what you will, but short term, it is super hard to predict. But also, we've got to talk about agent skins because there is some pretty f going on there. Now, this is in large part being driven by a Chinese agent skin rental site, but this still fits in with a longer term trend. Agent K's price, for example, has gone up a lot over the years, and it is a good example of how any discontinued item that's in demand will generally trend that way. It's just a matter of having them and being patient. And it also gave me a nice joke for the title of the video. Thanks for watching. See ya.